Hey everyone, my name is Dwayne Ellis. I'm from uh, Ellis Digital Solutions, and I'm going to do a short video today on kind of an addendum to Eugene Lesio's uh, video on subsampling and cloud compare. He covered the first two methods, and I'm going to talk about the third, Octree. So you can find his video here on YouTube, Cloud Compare, Subsampling, that's his channel name. So if you go over to Cloud Compare and select on the point cloud, click on the subsampling button, and in the drop down you want to use Octree. Now to kind of explain what Octree is, it's um, it's a tree data structure, and in two dimensional space you would use quad tree um, subdivision, and that. Essentially, I mean, if you're in a rendering situation, you'd be getting rid of anti-aliasing by using quad tree sampling, which is taking a pixel and subdividing it into four, and then keep doing that um, recursively. Uh, Octree level, though, is a three-dimensional representation of that, and it essentially subdivides uh, a single cube, I guess, into eight other child cubes. And it also does uh, recursive subdividing as well. So you could start off with one cube, divides into eight, and divides those further down, each node getting eight subdivisions. So um, with that selected, I'm going to show you a really low res one. Maybe at sample three. This is going to be probably useless, but it'll, it'll show the point. So if you click OK, what it's going to do is it's going to go in calculate the number of cells based on the three levels, which is going to be 60. So that's essentially going to be 60 cubes. So if you look at that, there's going to be however many points corresponding to each cube. And that's kind of useless. But So we'll go back to our original point cloud and we'll subsample at something higher. So now there's 38,545 cells calculated. That's a lot better, a lot lighter, and you'll notice that the distribution of the points is now a lot more uniform and it looks a lot like cubes. So if we go back up to the point cloud again, we'll go to subdivision 10. Calculation times will be longer, obviously, because that's to calculate and subdivide more cells. In this case, 289,300. So it's going to give you a tighter point cloud. But your distribution is going to be a lot more uniform. I think that, that might be it. Leave a comment if you want more um, more description. I have some graphics that might actually help visually, but uh, this is probably a pretty easy thing to understand once you see it. Thanks.